Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Inside. Today we're looking at the Clue Grab and Go mini game. Ages 8 and up, uh, 3 to 6 players, it says, um, from Hasbro. This one was put out in 2014 and is uh, a travel version of the classic game Clue. As you can see, it's got the same cover as the 2013 regular size Clue, but found this at Walmart the other day. It was only five bucks, so I thought, why not? So, let's see what we've got in here, because it's supposed to be kind of a travel game. All right, not much in there. All right, we got some cards. And this uh, opens. Yep, some little pieces and a die, <laughs> little tiny clue sheets. And the game board is a piece of cardboard that goes over top here. Alright, you got your little instruction book. Very thin paper. Uh, the contents are game board, six movers, I don't know why they're called movers, but they're little pieces. Um, this is six weapon tokens, which are just little cardboard pieces. Nine room cards, two dice, and a detective notebook. Alright, so there's no pen or anything, so be prepared to find something to write with. Um, these things are real tiny and they're one-sided, so be aware of that. Uh, but it is basically a clue layout. It does still have the secret passageway to the kitchen. Um, but there isn't one. Oh, wait. Yep, secret passage from the guest house to the spa. And back again. So you still got your secret passageways. The layout's a little different than your classic clue board. But what do you want for $5? Uh, the plastic thing here. A little cheap, not gonna lie. Um, not super impressed with that. Doesn't fold back up real easily, but it's probably not supposed to. Um, kind of weird that this wasn't like a sticker or something on here, but hey, whatever. Um, these cards are real cheap. Uh, it does give you two sets of the, you know, cause um, I guess there's gotta be a set for the thing but there's no envelope to put in the who did it which is a little lame so these aren't magnetic they're just cheap little plastic pawns two real tiny little die uh, at least the pawns are color coordinated um, yeah I'm a little disappointed with this the uh, there's no plastic weapons there your weapons are, are here are the dumbbell poison a pistol Candlestick, knife, rope. And then there's uh, the rooms. You got your guest house, your hall, your kitchen, observatory, spa, living room, dining room, uh, the theater, and the patio. And then you've got um, guest mustard, scarlet, peacock, plum, green, and white. So the backs have the regular clue symbols or question marks on them. But... Yeah, kind of cheaply put together. The cards are thin. They'll get damaged pretty easily. Uh, they're glossy, so I guess that's in a C- minus for effort. But the, yeah, these are kind of cheap too, but they're, they're not as bad as they could have been. Uh, the little notepad's cute in a weird way, but not a lot of pads on there. And the fact they're only one sided is a little lazy. Um, I guess for something to shut the kids up for a while, it'd be fine, but, yeah, I don't know, I'm getting this thing to unfold this, I don't know if I'm supposed to force this or not. Yeah, once that locks in place, it's a little tricky. Yeah, so, that's, that's Clue. Grab and go. Oh, yeah. Wow. You gotta really snap that thing. It latches on here. 
and uh, it's not real sturdy plastic, so you can't get a good grip. It does lock in place, which is nice. Hi, me. And then uh, you got to really kind of force it a little bit to get that to close. It does have a little slot here for the um, cards to go in, which is nice. And uh, it looks like you're going to have some trouble getting the rest of it in there. Like you're, you're going to have to pop these out before and put them in here. But it looks like everything will fit in here. It's just going to be a bit of a squeeze. So that is clue grab and go. Not much to it. I'm honestly a, a little bit disappointed with the quality. But for five bucks, I guess it's not that bad. But I would prefer slightly higher quality. Maybe magnetic pieces, but I guess they don't really do that anymore. Um, it looks a little nicer on the picture than it does when you actually get it out the cards look like they're nicer quality but for five bucks i guess it's an okay buy i'm not terribly impressed um but here we are but for something to, for the kids to do on a vacation or something it might be worth picking up just uh throw it in a bag so they have something to do and play with but that'll do it for this episode as always thank you for watching and we hope to see you next time on what's inside